Hi guys, so it is Sunday. It is our first non-sale video in ages and we're trying to be a little bit better with some of our training videos that we used to do a lot of before we got so busy. Uh, today I have been teaching five cross-country lessons already at Mornington Pony Club and I've got back early because they're awesome and they're starting at eight and finishing at one, which was fantastic. So I'm back here. We are showing you an awesome pole setup uh, that we've been working through. One of our working students, Danny, set it up last week and after a bit of tweaking and playing around with it, we've figured out heaps of really, really good exercises that I used for yesterday's pole classes. So Ben is riding Fleur today for the exercises and Kelly is riding Ted and we are about to get into it. So I'll show you the setup and I'll have to put like a diagram or something out there because it's a bit of a complicated one. But I think there's like 10 exercises or something. So there's a lot to do. So it's a really good one. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, so here it is. Uh, it looks pretty complicated from here, but I guess I'll go through each line. Um, our first line we're gonna do is just this straight ahead one. Uh, so we've got our blue solid poles and our green and white stripy poles. And you can see there's a square or a diamond in the middle, if you will, uh, that we're gonna make some half halts and some halts in and just straight changing rain and trying to cha uh, change direction in midair over the fourth pole. Okay, so the last pole here, we're trying to change there to activate the inside hind as it steps under the horse's body. So that's the first one. Um, now the second one, that I really like here as well is just this straight line through here. So we've got navy and cream and then you go through the point which is the same distance uh, so trot pole distance is, as well from your one, two, three and then you've got three steps in the middle uh, and then you carry out so there's another point at the other side and there's the solid um, lime green poles at the other side so that's a really good one too. And then building on that we also are going to do navy and cream over the point and turning off to the orange and then coming back around again navy and cream over the point and branching off to the right over the green and white stripy so you've got those turns in the middle which is really good if your horse tends to rush or get a little bit tense or tight good to make them supple relax and adjust the rhythm uh in the middle of that exercise so then just get on the, the line once they know it and kind of anticipate and rush a little bit uh good to create a little bit of swing as you kind of change their their body and kind of get them to wait and soften which is really nice here we've got some counter poles now this is a simple straight line through here um, and turning at the end for your counter poles so that's a good one uh, we've also got now this is probably uh, my favorite is actually simple but the rainbow poles here turning out to either the blue poles to the left on like a you know 12 meter circle 15 meter circle or the rainbow going to the green and white stripy and i'll show you that as we go but we'll be putting uh one so let me think two footfalls in here one footfall in here and then one in here as well to move around so the footfalls are really important because it makes sure that we have them around the inside leg enough but also off the outside aids and coming through with that shoulder so really really good one which will make more sense when we actually do it all together uh, then we have just this tight circle, which we're going to go, you can kind of see, I'll stand back a little bit. Uh, we have our navy and cream and then our green solid at the back. Um, and we'll be going from the outside circle onto the inner circle there and in and out. And that's a really interesting one. You've really got to have them off your outside heads as well. So yeah, I think that is all of them. So I think the guys should be warmed up now. So we'll get into it and we'll have a good crack. Okay, so Flo, it's been a while since she's been on the the channel but she's looking really good she's coming along heaps especially with her jumping but you can see this can is getting really good and here's mr ted e bear and he's being really cute we recently found out some of his background history which i haven't shared anywhere yet but um he now has a official name we were trying to think of something but now he's already had a name this whole time that's come um to our attention via instagram so that's pretty cool all right guys are you ready yeah. okay Let's go. 
Okay, so we are starting off with these blue solid poles and we're wanting a little bit more forward than that. We want that push off in there like she had last time. Good, coming through here. Yep, a little bit more forward and we're turning here, riding towards that blue pole. Then we'll be going to the right. Then we're gonna add some half halts in here next time. Good, that's the steps we want. Good, then Ted's catching up here. Good, and they both got the steps that time. That's interesting, both off the right rein, not off the left. Good. All right, we'll do that one more time, then we'll add in our half halts in the, in the diamond in the middle. Yeah, we we'll, we'll had that extra step that time. Go, 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 beautiful, good. Okay, then making a halt in the square now, and then straight back up to trot within there. Good girl, well done. And then getting going, and that's quite hard, yeah? And trying to get those steps is really hard. <laughs> good boy. Okay, good work, guys. One more of those. Fleur, I must admit, was quicker off the leg back up into the trot. But the halts were really good from both of them. You can see that we do a lot of that. And although it was a surprise halt, it was nice to see both their hind legs really come underneath them. Good. That's all right. And picking up again there. Good. One more from Ted. Super. Eight. Let's go, 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 go. Fire up, Mr. Ted. Okay, this time then one step of walk in there. So you'll kind of be stopping and starting. Stopping and starting. Yes, yeah, perfect. 10 out of 10, that was really good. And down and up. Yeah, good, both of you guys. One more time, that was really good though. I think Kelly had to work a little harder for it, but you both put in the steps and even though you had to push off from that one step, you got the push into the next part. And then that's all right, just happened a bit later, but they still served the purpose. Good, all right, then hold off for the next one. Down and up. Yeah, good, well done. Okay, so now we're doing this straight line through here that you might be able to see. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, changing rain. Staying on the inside lines, watch out for each other. That was good. Whoop. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, take two, Ted. Fleur is winning so far. Oh, Fleur, a little drift there, so you can really see if any drifting creeps in. There's nowhere to hide with this little exercise. Good, it would help if you didn't overshoot the center line at the beginning. Yeah, well, let's treat it like a center line. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, yeah, nice. Perfect, that one was awesome. Good turning at the end. Good turn onto it, really straight, really rhythmic and good steps. Good, hold him straight. He's drifting, probably spooking at my hat a little bit. Good, two more. Good. She's pretty good at poles. Yeah, good. Okay, that'll do with that one if you guys are happy. So now we're gonna do an extension of that one. So we're gonna do our navy and cream and then branching off left rein to our orange and then we keep turning left and then we come up and do the same to the right. So it's still like a figure eight. Perfect. Now the reason that those orange poles are at a different spacing yeah, and push him out more. He fell in a little bit there. Are at a different spacing to the other side is just because they're the canter exercise as well. So they've kind of got two purposes. Good, bit more bend. Better, better. Bending better around the right leg there. So yeah, this way you might notice, you know, one looks better one way and not the other because it's really gonna depend on the bend. So here we wanna yield off the left leg, perfect. Off the left leg, left leg, left leg. Don't let him fall in. Yeah, good. Good. And you can tell by the number of steps you get through there whether you're getting any falling in or falling out as well. Okay, there's really nowhere to hide. Perfect. She's got it. Ben can walk. Push him off. Good. I reckon when you go one more time, I think you can get a little bit more Ben, a little bit more yield. Okay, so come to me a little bit more. Go wider, push him out, push him out, push him out. Yeah, better, good. So you can see the line just gave her a little bit more room and that depends a bit on the horse's stride length too. Okay, it's canter pole time and we're gonna be doing our rainbow poles now. You can see to our orange poles and turning tight turns. So we were lucky we have um, a interesting jumping exercise set up at the moment too. And we're trying to turn inside that. So we're using that as like a deadline. Good, good, good. Well done guys, bit more bend there though at the end, Kelly. We had like a bit of a motorbike at the end, but good job for both getting those distances. Come forward a little bit forward towards your pole, Ben. 
you've got to open up, but keep the little bit of turning through there kind of enables you to build the canter without it getting kind of tight and rigid through the back. Good, if you miss it the first, it's all just, it's all finished. Good guys, one more time. Super nice. Keep coming, Ben, you can get ready to do that the other way. So we'll be starting from the orange. Good. Okay, so we were just reversing the canter poles now so you can see the right lead. It is a bit of a tighter turn this way. And then to keep coming to those poles is gonna be a challenge. That was really good from Ben. Yeah, it just needs a little bit more canter in there. Good, sorry, missed that from Ted. And we've taken two different routes on the way out. One route I would recommend more than the other. But I'm not gonna half on, good. And leg, leg, yeah, better. She's so good at these, good girl. All right, Mr. Teddy Bear. Good, I was a little bit zoomed in there, sorry everybody. So this is the hardest, but also my favorite. So we've got the rainbow um, poles here where we want to put two footfalls. One footfall inside the diamond on a sharp left turn, and then one footfall at the start there. Oh, bloody hell, have you already practiced this on her? That was awesome. All right, pressure's on 10, one. Okay, yeah, more turning. Oh, they're coming very fast. Sorry guys, I'm trying to space them out a bit. All right, turning left harder. Turning hard left. Come on, come over to me. Yeah, more left. Good. Claire just gets it like every time. Good. Ben has had more practice than Killy at this. This is a new one for her. So yes, good job. You got it. Good. And it really depends, guys. So if they fall out a little bit, you're definitely going to miss. If they're not turning properly, you'll miss. It's really hard. Yeah, maybe it's better to go around so I can get one at a time. Yeah, and it tends to take a little bit for the rider to get the idea of the line. We'll do that the other way. So the other way, it will be from the rainbow to the green stripey. So this is exactly the same exercise, but we're doing a little right circle here now. Ah, a bit more leg at the last. And Keely's winning this one now. Should be on a point system. Keely's a letter. Kelly's gonna be stripped of her frappe if she doesn't get this one right. Oh, both a bit of a mess there. So Kelly needed to turn more there at that one. It feels like I'm talking about you in third person. <laughs> Good turning. Yeah, he's got it. Oh no, a little bit more turn at the last. Yeah, you gotta keep coming around that circle here. Turn, yeah, good. Oh, that was just a bit of a surprise. He, he did one footfall in the first, which costed you the last bit. Good, Ben got it. Had to get him a bit more in front of the leg there for that. No, it's weird, it's been harder this way. Yeah, good, perfect from Kelly, can walk. Yeah, perfect. Let's take a bit more riding this way. Good job, guys, have a walk. We're on to our last one. So me and Kelly are pretending that we're really stupid so that Amber has to demo the running around again. Yeah, we want to see the actual canner movement. Is that a trot or a lope or? <laughs> Wait, I didn't see the start. Achilles started her outer circle. I've told her she's a little quick. So hopefully she comes onto her inner circle, outside aids. Yeah, good, good turn. Coming round. And outer circle. Good, it's the getting in and out from the two different circles that's like really hard because if they're, if they're falling out at all, you're just totally toast. Yeah, see, good. Coming round, so you need all that bend, all that flexion. Yeah, here. Yep, coming around. And you can, yeah, mix it up. You can do half a circle and go out, whatever works, but that in and out is the poor mark. Yeah, good. And it's actually helped to soften him up here. She's being a bit looky at all the stuff, which then he sometimes braces his neck. So you can see she's got to do that combination of turning his face, getting the flexion, yielding his ribs, and that gives her the nice bend, which then he softens. You want to do the other way? See, slow down, slow down, give yourself time. This exercise does not have to be done super duper quick. 
Yeah, more important to have the time to create the bend. Yeah, quality turning the face, will vibrate right wrist. Yeah, good. And you'll be able to really feel if there's differences on one rein to another. Yeah, so this rein's harder, I think Keely's saying from, from there. Good. I don't know when she's gonna enter, but here we go. Good. Super. All right, whenever you're happy, I will let you finish. Well done. Let's soften him up for you at least. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she was actually really good. Okay, so we're in this canter saga right now. So I've said to Ben that he can just come in and do the inner circle, then come out. Good, that's all right. And she will, they will find that little bit of weakness there. So we'll just regroup. He'll probably make a walk to canter. Well done. Didn't know she did those, but that's good. Super, turning, turning, outside aids, outside aids. Good, come out, come out. Excellent. We'll do one more of those. The in and out would be probably the best to do on Captain, really. See if we can, that's good, and yeah, good. And even when she drops out there, it gives a bit of an objective. Gets bent to get her around that inside leg, good. But she has to be really straight off that outside aid. Awesome, do you wanna do one more this way? You're happy? One more? Uh, for the record, if you ever ask Ben that, he'll always say one more. Which is also what I'll say whenever you ask me if I'm coaching too. Good, come here, come here, yep, yes. Well done. Can she do that both ways? All right, easy. Go. Well done, that's super. Do you want to do that the other way? She's too tired. Yeah. I'm very impressed with how this can has come along over COVID. It's a COVID canner. Uh, no, she's not. I don't think we've started those yet. How good is her front looking though? She's starting to really let go, looking really strong. Ted's tired. Ted, Ted is tired and Ted finds Pulse tedious. All right, coming around, 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 around. Excellent. Oh, yeah, good. I think I like that better than like the the square of poles. It is hard. Yeah. I think Danny would be proud of all the things I've made out of her mess of poles. <laughs> okay. Good. One more. And out and that'll do okay favorite exercise of today's pulse class guys um, the in and out circle that I did in, in and out circle of the trot Ben what about you I probably like the whole one because it's sort of the whole one yeah gone back to the start <laughs> throwback can't even remember that check how well your, your brakes work then you have to sort of make sure they're really really listening to your legs yeah good for your half hole all right cool well we'll see you all next time hopefully we can try and do these a little bit more often again like we used to and not just boring videos all the time okay see you next time